Hi, I'm Francesco and uh, today uh, I'm going to explain how to prepare bruschetta. Bruschetta is a typical simple fresh Italian appetizer and it can be prepared in minutes. And uh, it consists of a toasted bread uh, rubbed with garlic and uh, topped with uh, tomatoes and uh, the American style uh, garlic bread uh, descends uh, from this kind of uh, Mediterranean tradition. So we start uh, um, getting uh, a loaf of bread. So let's uh, slide, slice uh, a loaf of bread. Uh, you can use um, a leftover bread. If you have uh, uh, some uh, uh, stale bread, then throw it away, but uh, recycle it and then prepare make uh, bruschetta. And then uh, for <coughs> four slices of, uh, of, um, of bread, uh, we can use uh, a couple of uh, tomatoes, uh, a pinch of uh, mashed uh, oregano and uh, a couple of uh, cloves of garlic. Of course, uh, we need the, the basic ingredient, uh, the olive oil, the olive oil, and uh, we can use uh, four spoons of uh, olive oil for four slices, or uh, just uh, one spoon for each slice. And then, uh, let we have to peel uh, the clove of garlic, then uh, cut it. And then, after that, uh, we can rub uh, the bread uh, with the garlic. Uh, it's important, don't exaggerate uh, with garlic, because uh, it has a very strong taste and it can cover all the other tastes. And then, put the slices in the oven in order uh, to toast them. Uh, you toast them until they don't get uh, uh, golden brown. But uh, remember to watch them, otherwise uh, you risk uh, to, to burn them. And then uh, chop the tomatoes, uh, cut uh, them in small cubes, uh, in small uh, dices. And then arrange the grilled bread uh, on a plate. And after that, uh, drizzle with the oil, just uh, pour slowly a fine stream of oil, of oil over the grilled bread. And so add uh, a pinch of uh, mashed oregano. In the old times, uh, this was uh, how the old uh, Italian peasants uh, used uh, to eat uh, bruschetta. So it was a, a very poor, uh, uh, a very poor food. And then uh, we can cover with the chopped to uh, tomatoes, uh, just a spoon of the tomatoes uh, onto the, um, the toasted bread. But then uh, we have variation with uh, uh, coppers and uh, black uh, olives. And uh, other variation, uh, another variation we can incorporate, uh, like here, bacon, a very thin uh, uh, slice of bacon, but you can use uh, other kind of cold meat. It's just a matter of imagination, so uh, be creative and enjoy them. That's it. <laughs> so, any question or someone? Thank you, Juan. Based on your experience, when you put the bread in the oven, how long do you have to wait that they are ready? It depends uh, on the temperature of the oven. But usually you can like warm up a little bit uh, the oven, then you put uh, with uh, 200 uh, uh, Celsius uh, degree, uh, then you have to wait, let's say, about 10 minutes. But sometimes uh, the oven uh, during the winter can be cold, and so you need uh, to okay. wait more. And so you have to to watch carefully because uh, sometimes it can burn on the edges, so it's not very healthy. Yes, but uh, you can use also you can do like uh, 
thinner uh, slice of bread and use the toast, the proper toast. Ah, okay. the, Thank you. In the old ways, they use uh, the, 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 in the fireplace, uh, there was uh, the hot uh, carpons, uh, and then uh, they used to put uh, the, the slice of bread near uh, the, the fireplace. Uh, so that was uh, the way uh, how the old peasant uh, used uh, to, to toast uh, their yeah, bread yeah. without uh, electric equipment or modern oven. How long does it take to do the whole process? If you have to post all of them, it takes a lot of time. No, but uh, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Okay. Because uh, when you put uh, the, the slice uh, in the oven, uh, then you do the other thing, you prepare, so it's very fast. Uh, 10, 12 minutes. Okay. It, it is used as an appetizer uh, for the antipasto or also for the parties, a food party. And I have one question that I think the people in the United States might want to know. You used bacon that's not cooked. That's, no, no. that's typical yes, yes, in Italy, uh, yes, isn't it? Yes, uh, it's a little bit different from uh, the United States version. You can buy it at the store, but uh, it's, um, it's not cooked and uh, it just uh, the, the slices are very thin. <laughs> but is the bacon um, seasoned, is it matured like prosciutto? Yes. The, the bacon yes, that you use? Name it's it, not uh, pancetta. the pancetta. We name it pancetta. Uh -huh. So it's not the bacon that usually is cooked? Yes. For other, it's the same bacon? Mm, I think it's uh, the same uh -huh. uh, piece of the meat. The same piece of the meat, uh, but mm -hmm. it's uh, not uh, um, cut in that way. Mm -hmm. In any case, you can uh, you can use uh, other uh, kind of uh, cold meat like uh, salami, ham, uh, prosciutto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you.